One of the things that's really helped me, I don't know if this helps anyone who's listening, but yeah. I've um, I've been figuring out the tempos for all the songs myself. Mm. So I've been, that's not easy. So I've, yeah, I've been figuring out the tempos and I'm such a perfectionist that I've like figured out the tempo, played the song to a voice memo and then the next day I'll listen to it again to make sure it doesn't sound too fast yeah. or too slow. Yeah. Um, some songs are easier to find a tempo for than others, but I've been picking the tempos, um, been making sure my lyrics are right, and I've even like recorded the scratch tracks already. Mm. And for anyone who's never maybe been in a studio before, the scratch tracks basically just the the thing that you kind of will play along to when you're laying down the drums and then the bass and then the guitar and then probably at some point you'll probably get rid of the scratch track because you don't need it anymore. But it's like a guide track, mm. and so I've done that, and then that should save some time in the studio and also because i've been playing along to the songs to a click now um i've learned that there were parts of the songs that i was speeding up and slowing down and that would have been quite frustrating in the studio if i hadn't already practiced to the click because then Mm. i would have had i would have been unrehearsed in the studio so now hopefully when i get into the studio we don't have to waste time on figuring out tempos and creating a scratch track and then yeah. and then hopefully i find it easier to record my parts because i have practiced them i have created my you know my lead guitar parts and all these other ideas so hopefully i've done my homework and i can go in there and we can actually be creative instead of just doing take after take after take because i suck like hopefully <laughs> hopefully it's a bit more productive we'll see but it seems to be working well so far yeah, man, preparation for the studio is such a massive thing because that, that, that's so good that you're doing all that stuff because that's what I've learned too. I've only had a few sort of, I guess, um, interactions with like sort of big studios and yeah, doing all those little things like creating tempos and, and what I did, what, what did I do last time? I like printed out like lyric sheets and chord sheets for all the songs and it was really helpful for the producer. Like mm-hmm. when we're recording the vocal takes, he was able to go through and like highlight certain lines. And I was like, this is great. And, and I asked him, I was like, does like other artists generally do this? He's like, no, not really. Like you're like really organized. He's like, oh, cool, nice. So um, wow. man, it's such it's, it's so important, I think. To, and it just helps the process as well, just going through the studio because it can at times be stressful, not always, but especially if you're on like a time limit and, and, if, and if money's sort of like, yeah, just all those factors come into play. Um, It can be a high pressure situation. Hey, it's Lockie here. Thanks for checking out this clip of my podcast, Indie Music Diaries. If you want to check out full episodes of the podcast, you can search up Indie Music Diaries on any podcast platform, including Spotify and Apple Podcasts, or check out the full video episodes on the Indie Music Diaries YouTube channel.